Chris with HobbyKing.com and we're gonna do a product profile on our new Multistar uh, batteries. These batteries are designed specifically for multi-rotor use and they're higher capacity, lower density uh, batteries and uh, what they're really designed for is to increase flight time and they're designed specifically for multi-rotors. So let's go ahead and dive into some of the science on these particular batteries and explain to you why they're built different and why the application uh, works better for multi-rotors. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing uh, that I want to talk about on these particular batteries is the C rating. Uh, their C rating, they're all rated at 10C, and everyone immediately is going to go, oh, that's extremely low. That's, uh, you know, that's normally fly with 20C batteries. Now, for multi-rotor use, uh, we've done a lot of testing, and most standard multi-rotors, I'm going to use a 450 size frame as a reference. For a 450 size frame, we've determined that they hover uh, under uh, full power, or not full power, but just at 50% power, anywhere between, where I'm going to go ahead and just throw it up here, 14 to, uh, we'll go on the high end, maybe uh, 18 amps. So that's a, a 450 size quad. Now granted, there's gives and takes and variables in that, but for the average, we'll just say like a flame well style, uh, that's where you're gonna be at an amperage. Now, most of those quads fly anywhere between a 2200 and a, we'll say a 3700 milliamp battery on average. Uh, and within that, you'll get anywhere between um, eight uh, minutes to about 10 minutes on flight time, uh, depending on how you're flying, aggressive, if you have a gimbal on there, et cetera, et cetera. You might even have some lower KV motors that are more efficient, but we're just gonna use some round numbers so that you'll be able to uh, understand this. So based off of this, let's go ahead and take a look at your standard 3700. We'll go with the high end of the battery. Now what I have right here is our Nanotech A-Spec battery. Fantastic battery, these things are absolutely awesome. Uh, but what they're really designed for is a high C rating. They can deliver the amps. Now, in order for a battery to deliver higher amperage, uh, the density of it has to be a little higher. Um, so in this particular case, this one is 65 C rated, and it's just a three cell 3700. So this is a lot like you would find on a Zippy or a Nanotech, um, uh, an A-Spec uh, style uh, battery. And they're all going to be similar in size and approximately the same in weight depending on their C ratings. Um, so this is what you'd be flying with. Let's go ahead and grab some specs of this particular battery. I'm going to throw and fire up the scale. Let that calibrate out. So I'm going to throw it on the scale and let's see what we get. Um, about 320, about 320 grams, so we'll just round. So let's go ahead and throw that up on the board. So we've got 3700 milliamps of power here and it's approximately 320 grams. But this is 65 C rating. So for every one C it's basically equal. So if we said it was one C it would be able to deliver uh, 3.7 amps, 10 C 37 amps. So in this case it's 65 C. And if I do some quick math, I'm not gonna try and do it in my head. We got three point times uh, 65 getting around 240 amp burst capability or continuous in this particular battery, which is insane. So 240 amp capable battery. And that's, I mean, that's just ridiculous. Why do you need a battery that can deliver 240 amps on a multi-rotor that is flying at 18 amps of power? There, there's no reason for it. And the sacrifice is the additional weight and the thickness of these cells to be able to pr produce that kind of C rating where in exchange we can trade that uh, weight for capacity because we know we don't need this kind of amperage. You know, a uh, 450 quad at a full burst uh, pull out or anything like that, max you're really gonna see is like, we'll just say 40 amps. We'll even go 45 amps uh, on the high side. So, you know, our target, it would be maybe a battery that can deliver, we'll say 50 amps. If a battery can deliver 50 amps, it'll fly anything that a 450 quad can throw at it within reason. Obviously there's exceptions. Don't hate me in the comments. Everyone knows that. So here we go. This awesome battery, 3,700 uh, milliamps, uh, 320 grams, 240 amp capable according to the 65C rating. Um, there we go. So the new batteries, like I was saying, what we're going to do is trade off uh, the density of the battery to lower the C rating because we don't need that amperage and we're going to increase its capacity. But here's the tricky part. When you increase capacity, um, even though the C rating is lower, then your amperage goes back up. So to use a, a, a quick example um, of what I mean by that is to say that um, this battery uh, was 10C. It would be able to deliver 3,700. But say we made the same battery uh, 5,200, say, as this, and now it's 10C. 5,200 at 10C is 52 amps. 
So uh, even though it's 10C, because capacity is increased, amperage is therefore increased as well. So here we go. This is the 3-cell 5200 multi-star battery. Now uh, this battery, let's go ahead and throw it on the scale. Is it still on? Here we go. This battery is coming in at 326. So it's six grams heavier than our 3700. So it is 5,200 milliamps and it is 326 grams, but it's 10 C rated versus the 65. But because it's a higher capacity than the 32, where this one at 10 amp or 10 C rating would only deliver 37 amps. This one at 10C is 52 amps capable. So 52 amps, which is well beyond the means of what our 450 quad in theory would ever need. So this battery, what we did is trade off capacity. Now that you've got an extra 2000 milliamps worth of power between a 3700 and a 5200, what are you gonna be able to do with that extra uh, capacity in this particular battery? obviously longer uh, flight times. Um, you're going to be able to stay up a lot longer. You know, I'm, everyone can do math and calculations, but I'm going to say a minimum probably 15% extra flight time, maybe 20%. This is how that new range of multi-rotors, we'll just say like the DJI Visions, the, uh, the Wakara 350 Pros, um, a lot of multi-rotors are out there that are staying up in the air for so long, you know, 40 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, no problem. It's because they have very low C rating batteries and high capacity. A lot of people figured out that multi-rotors just do not pull that many amps in a hover uh, because the load's being spread between four motors, four, S, four ESCs, and it even equates to the design of multi-rotors. A lot of people are putting 30 amp ESCs on a motor that, to be honest, will never pull more than 10. So there, there really is a lot of misunderstanding and misinformation about there, out there on multi-rotors. So this is the conception of these batteries. Essentially that we're going to increase the capacity of the battery decrease the C rating, and but because the capacity went up, even though the C rating is lowered, the amperage is brought up into a level that is more than acceptable within that range of that particular battery. So in this example, you can see only six uh, more grams. We're getting a whole heck of a lot more capacity in here, probably able to fly 15%, 20% longer. Uh, it's well within the range of what this multi-rotor can pick up. And there you go, you have it. And if I uh, hold it up next to the 3700, let's get some side-by-side -side action here and take a look at it all the way around. You can see the form factor of the battery is just a smidgen bigger than what it's trying to replace uh, in the, the same given form factor. I mean, we can throw, uh, we can throw some measurements on there just to, to show you on these particular ones. And in this entire range of battery, we'll have the full specs so you can make sure that the given battery that you're looking for is gonna be able to fit within the fuselage of your multi-rotor um, or a frame of the multi-rotor. So that one's 48 uh, by approximately, you know, we'll say 140 versus this one is 137 versus 43. And in reality, it's actually even thinner in that pack. So that is the mad science behind these particular batteries. Um, it's pretty straightforward since these are 10 C rating. You can take whatever the, uh, the given one is, and this one is a 6.6, .6, so you can assume it's gonna be able to deliver 66 amps. But in this case, where this one is a four cell uh, particular battery, your amperage is gonna be lower anyway because you're running 4S instead of 3S. And that's a whole nother subject on uh, efficiency with higher voltages versus lower voltages. These, these batteries were developed and designed to match a particular class of helicopter or multi-rotor within that range. So if you buy these batteries, you just got to make sure that you're within that class and you're going to be well within the amp range that these are able to, to deliver. Um, and, and if we take a look at some of these, uh, these ranges, we got the 6600s, we've got six cells, we've got four cells, we've got three cells, we got... Uh, um, giant three cells that are meant to be tagged in pairs, you know, on these particular ones, uh, the 10,000s, so on the bigger multi-rotors such as the 1300s, the 1200s, the Ironman 1000s, you're going to be able to run two of these that weigh essentially the same as what people are flying on 8000s, and you're going to essentially get 4,000 more uh, milliamps worth of capacity. I mean, that could equate to eight, ten more minutes worth of flight time on a big uh, camera ship, which could equate to getting the shot or not getting the shot. Anyway, guys, these are the new multi-star batteries. A lot of uh, um, research, development have gone into them. We spent a lot of time on them. Uh, I'm very proud of these particular batteries. 
great for multi-rotor. And as I mentioned before, that if you got an airframe that just sips on the amperage and you want to have endurance flights and be able to fly for a long time, if you calculate out the amperage that your, your plane uh, uh, flies, if you got telemetry and, and you know what those amperages are, you could easily put a large capacity low C uh, battery in it. And because of the larger capacity, once again, the amperage is still there. Um, and you're going to be able to do some endurance flying on, on particular type of aircraft with these batteries as well, even though they were developed for the multi-rotor. As always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out these awesome batteries. We will see you next time.